So, first tip to look at is uh, think about getting some playlists for YouTube um, and there are some of those on my blog so YouTube for teachers um, is definitely a good one to look at, pre-curated content. Um, and the next tip is to think about using safety mode on YouTube. So if you scroll right down to the bottom of the page you can find safety mode and turn that on and then you can save that and lock it in your um, browser if you want to but what that does is it turns off um, the comments underneath the videos so whilst lots of videos can be great they might often have dodgy comments underneath them um, although the video itself is fine you've got a whole list of things in the comments you really don't want the kids to see so putting safe mode on just turns comments off you can turn them back on if you want to show hidden comments but they are there The second one is the Google Art Project. If this isn't something you've seen before, it's definitely worth taking a look at. It was just extended um, at the beginning of April and now has 150 museums um, around the world represented in there. So they've taken their street view cameras and scanned in lots of art work and sculptures and other things so that you can see them in high definition um, on this browser. You can search by the collection, so the different museums that are represented, or by artist or by artwork. Um, you can create user galleries which are a nice way, it's like a little playlist of um, different pictures that you can put together, so perhaps the kids could put these together or you might want to create um, a playlist for you to use specifically in class um, and then you can look at those pictures specifically rather than having to search through the whole system. Um, these are scanned in really high detail, this doesn't do any justice to them at all on the screen capture. You can get right down to looking at the paint um, and the way it's actually shaped on the page on these, um, on these canvases, it's really beautiful. You can do a full size um, screen uh, slideshow um, or you can use the museum view which is just like street view. They've actually wheeled the street view cameras around the museums and recorded where these paintings are in situ. So really useful for getting a sense of sense of um, size and scale of these pictures, uh, where they are in situ, what the museum's like, what the space is like around them and lots of discussion that you can have there about how this street view technology has been used in quite a different way. Uh, searching by reading age was an amazing trick that we were shown. Um, so you can do your regular search and then if you scroll down on the left hand side there are lots of different ways of searching. Under more search tools you can start to filter um, your research uh, by time but you can also look at um, reading level. So if you click on reading level it gives you three options, basic, intermediate and advanced. So if you click on the basic link it will filter out any pages um, that have a high reading level and just show you those where the content on the page is of a lower reading level. Uh, so that means that you can get a pre-selected set of pages um, which are going to be easy for children to read and looking at those I can already see um, that there are things on there I would recommend children look at like BBC Bite Size so it definitely works. And the last one by popular demand from Jess is Google Forms for survey. So you do need a Google account for this. You can go and create a form and give your form a title uh, and then um, put in a question and you can use these forms for collecting data um, online uh, from anyone. It can be open and public or you can just share it with a limited audience. So you can choose different types of questions. So I've put multiple choice here, putting in some uh, choices for what people might want to have had for breakfast. They might have had nothing or they might have had a kebab. And then you can save that form. You can choose different um, sort of uh, overlays and themes for how the form looks just to make it look a bit prettier if you want to so because this one's about food maybe you want this one on spices um, and then you get a nice picture at the top and it puts a nice font on it um, I didn't save this one I just kept it plain for now so once you go back into Google Docs then you can see that the survey has been made and what happens is that that information that form actually goes into a spreadsheet so going back to that live form Here's the questions that you can fill in and that URL on the top there you can share with other people uh, and I've made this one into a bit later, you can have a go at it, it's Joe Badge Google and uh, you can choose what you ate for breakfast and submit those forms 
uh, and then going back to the spreadsheet you'll see that the information has been entered instantly and again on my blog I'll share the link for that and uh, hopefully if you have a go we'll get a few more responses in there and you can see what the answers are. So I hope those have been useful. Um, all the links and everything I've talked about today uh, are on my blog and uh, you can find them there.